Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyans. This is Revolution. So on today's video I'm going to be talking about Goku's new upcoming transformation and the theory I have based on recent events and recent episodes as well as recent spoilers that could conclude in explaining how Goku acquires this new level of power literally out of nowhere to take on Jiren the Grey. So just before I continue, I'm just going to warn any of you who do not want to be spoiled, there will be spoilers for upcoming episodes in this video, especially the Dragon Ball Super Special on October the 8th, which is going to be episode 109 and 110. If you do not want to be spoiled, I suggest this video is not for you. So you've had your warning. If you're still watching, then I guess you want to be spoiled. So the spoilers aren't exactly brand new spoilers. In fact, they're not spoilers that I've leaked myself. I'm going to give credit to Geekdom101 as that is where I actually got the information on these spoilers from. And I will leave a link to that video concerning those spoilers. He goes very in depth about it. It will be in the information section. So if you want to check out those spoilers first or after this video, go ahead. So just so you're aware, this video is not about those spoilers. Those spoilers just contribute to this theory I have. Now, concerning Goku's new transformation, which is often referred to as Limit Breaker Goku, and some people even refer to it as Super Saiyan Beyond, <laughs> and some fan even said that it was going to be called Super Saiyan Supreme. It's a possibility. We do not have an official name yet. Whatever your temporary preferred name might be, one thing that's got a lot of us in suspense right now is how is Goku going to achieve this transformation? Now, in terms of the spoilers we have received, we have the spoilers which are basically leaks from Japan, and then we have the episodes themselves, as well as the preview, as well as the images leaked by certain magazines that show us what this new form and transformation are going to look like. So a lot of us were wondering whether Goku had already unlocked this new transformation behind the scenes and was going to reveal it in the Tournament of Power. A major catalyst for that way of thinking was in the preliminaries to the Tournament of Power when Goku was charging up the Blue Kaioken vs Toppo of Universe 11. He said, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I broke my limits. But we now know from spoilers again that Goku is going to be using the Kaioken times 20 in his Super Saiyan Blue form versus Jiren. Now in terms of the Blue Kaioken times 20, we hadn't actually seen that before in the Dragon Ball Super series. We saw him fire it up to times 10 versus the legendary assassin hit in the God of Destruction tournament. And since then you could argue that we've seen a more mastered Kaioken blue form because Goku has demonstrated he can use it multiple times in a row just like in the preliminaries when he used it against Bagamo and then fired it up against Toppo and then a few hours later even used it against Ultimate Gohan all whilst not suffering the crippling key disease that he suffered when he initially used the blue Kaioken for the first time against Hit. A lot of us thought that he was going to show this new transformation against Toppo there and then but I think he was just referring to the times 20 Kaioken on top of Super Saiyan Blue. Which if you've been a long time fan of the series, you'll know that Kaioken times 20 is possible because in Dragon Ball Z, in his fight vs final form Freezer, Goku used the Kaioken times 20, even managing to hurt a final form Freezer. Albeit it wasn't quite enough against Freezer in that arc and eventually Goku would need the Super Saiyan transformation to ultimately beat Freezer. But Goku going beyond his limits against Jiren the Grey is not going to be quite enough. As we learn from more spoilers, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 is going to be no match for this fearsome foe. Now this is quite an old spoiler about a couple of weeks old and it didn't really come as a surprise to anybody because we all knew that Goku was getting a new transformation and if Goku could beat the biggest rival in the tournament with the blue Kaioken what would be the point in the new transformation. But in the preview to the Dragon Ball Super Special episodes 109 to 110 we see Goku fire up that blue Kaioken times 20 we've been talking about but then also use a Genki Dharma. Now a lot of people have theorized that Goku would absorb the Genki Dharma, which up until the preview for the next episode was a very sound theory and definitely a very interesting idea. But obviously with the preview, we can see that Goku launches the Genki Dharma at Jiren the Grey. But from spoilers that were released, and like I said on Geekdom's channel last week, we can see that, that they reaffirm that Jiren the Grey is going to be too much for the rest of the contestants for the Tournament of Power. Goku counters by turning the Super Saiyan Blue 
up to its maximum, which is possibly going to be times 20. Who knows, it could be more, we'll have to wait and see. But we also learn that it's going to be no use against Duren. Now, the important bit here is the memo at the bottom. It says that Goku has all of his attacks deflected and is knocked down. So basically, the Genki Dharma is one of Goku's attacks, but he is knocked down. It does not work on Jiren the Grey, but it goes on to state, however, a key never seen before erupts from his body. So clearly, this key that erupts from his body is not going to be regular key and it's not going to be god key because they are the two keys that have been prominent throughout this Dragon Ball Super series. Obviously, the attack isn't going to work, but you would at least think that it's going to cause you a little bit of a problem. So what exactly is this key and how does Goku obtain it? Well, I'm going to go back to that Genki Dharma and the energy that Goku needs to collect from that Genki Dharma because in terms of that Genki Dharma's power, to be able to destroy Jiren, it's going to have to collect an enormous amount of power. Now, Goku's no fool when it comes to martial arts. He wouldn't fire this kind of attack if he had no faith that it would work. It's hard to believe that the likes of Frieza, Vegeta, 17, even Ribrian, or any of the other strong contestants in this tournament are going to contribute to this attack. And obviously Toppo is definitely not going to contribute to this attack because it's being fired at his teammate. Now in episode 108, we learned what happened to Frost when he interfered from the outside after being eliminated. He was erased on the spot. So I do not believe any contestants that have been eliminated will contribute to this Genki Dharma. I do not believe any Gods of Destructions will contribute to this Genki Dharma in fear of being erased on the spot and the angels are pretty much neutral in all these ongoings so why would they risk erasure to help goku maybe Whis would want to but would he actually do it the daishinkan is neutral as well now just before the tournament to power Whis mentioned the mortal that was stronger than the gods of destruction most of us believe that's Juren the gray some people believe it's someone from universe 4 i personally still believe it's going to be Juren, and if Jiren could overwhelm a Super Saiyan Blue times 20 Genki Dharma. He has got to be pretty much a beast. And it wouldn't surprise me if he is stronger than the likes of Beerus. But Beerus, despite being incredibly powerful, especially compared to the Z-Warriors, isn't the strongest fighter out there. There are people in tiers above him, including the Angels. We know that Whis is stronger than Beerus. We know the Daishinkan is stronger than Beerus and obviously Zeno. Now, in the few times we've seen the Angels fight, we've never really seen any key or anything of the like actually exude from them. We've never even seen Whis throw a key blast. Now, we do know that Whis often tells Goku and Vegeta to find a way to keep all their godly key within their body. But there could be another reason to explain why the Angels are much stronger than the Gods of Destruction. And that could be because they also possess the ability to use this key that no one's ever seen before that erupts from Goku's body. Now, back to that Genki Dharma. I can guarantee you, when you see Goku asking for energy on this Genki Dharma, you will probably pro throw your hand up in the air and pretend to give him energy. Don't deny it, guys. I know you're going to do it. I'm going to do it as well. We will all do it. We'll all contribute for Universe 7 to that Genki Dharma. But it is pretty childish thing to do. And... In the world of Void right now, there is a being who is incredibly childish, who has no fear of erasure, and who has shown us a bit of his key or his power. Now, let's go back to the Zamasu saga when he obliterated future Zamasu's essence that had literally covered the entire multiverse. Now, as you can see on this image, Zeno's key, if you could even call it that, is like a shining light orb in his hand. Now we've seen this multiple times in Dragon Ball Super because when he erased Universe 9 and Universe 10, we saw a joint effort from both Zeno and Future Zeno using this same kind of energy ball. Now I made a video not too long ago explaining how the erasure technique possibly works and it is basically down to Zeno's key and simultaneously thinking about erasing whatever he wants to erase and the key doesn't even have to home in on the target, it just erases it on the spot. But ultimately, 
Zeno's key seems to be this color that is very similar to the leaked image we got in the Shonen Jump of Goku's new transformation. As you can see in the image where Goku has the Limit Breaker transformation with the silver eyes, the key seems to be light emanating from his body, very similar to Zeno's energy balls that he attacked Future Zamasu with, where they seem to be emanating light. Could this new key erupting from Goku's body be light key? So what if when Goku asks everybody to lend energy for the Genki Dharma, the very excitable Zeno gets carried away and lifts his arm to the sky, giving Goku even just a minute bit of his power. Now we know how powerful Zeno is. And what if Goku somehow notices that this different key is inside his Genki Dharma and he excludes it from the Genki Dharma he sends at Jiren and somehow absorbs that energy. Or he could simply, by being exposed to it, find a way to manifest it, just like he did with God Key. And this could be why this key we've never seen before erupts from his body. Now, I know I use the word erupt a lot in my videos, guys, but the spoilers use the word erupt. That wasn't me. This is just a theory, a hypothetical situation. Take it with a pinch of salt, but it could be an interesting method in which to get Goku to that next level of power being above the gods of destruction on the angel level tiering. Now, if this unlikely scenario is to ever transpire, I would call this transformation the Super Saiyan Light transformation. Super Saiyan Omni would also be a pretty cool name, but I think Super Saiyan Light sounds pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, I want to know your thoughts on my theory in the comment section, or if you have any theories of your own. Once again, let me know in the comment section and we will discuss it. If you like my videos, make sure you smash that like button with a big bang attack and remember one very important final message. If you stay calm in any vexing situation, you will never, eh, 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 ever become a Super Saiyan. Make sure you click that subscribe button to make sure you get all my latest content straight to your account as soon as it's released and here are some more videos from my library which I'm sure you will all enjoy.